After the diagnosis, we left everything behind. Our jobs, friends, personal belongings, every single thing. James went home and I followed a good few weeks after him. So we haven't seen each other in a while. Going back 2021, summertime, he took me to Ireland to meet his family and show me just how beautiful this place really is. To be honest, I see it through different eyes now that I'm calling it my home. And I'm pretty sure he's happy and comfortable knowing he's home with his family, where he belongs, especially going through something like this. As his girlfriend, or what I'd like to say, partner in crime, I've witnessed every single thing. His yo-yoing weight, all his struggles, and his resilience. This week, we get to move into our own little cozy apartment. It has everything we need, and it's done up to perfection. I'm so loving it here. And of course, we need to do a massive food shop because I love cooking. While we're waiting to meet with doctors, James and I take every opportunity we can to go for walks and spend time together. up everybody so I'm gonna head over to hello say hi Bella hello what we're you gonna do now go in the garden we're gonna go into a garden house we're gonna make it nice over a few weeks <laughs> I hope where do we start start shoveling <laughs> make it our own I'm thinking bright yellow why not? I'm gonna get some plants and stuff right in here and I'm going to make it into my least space and watch my plants grow. If we made it at Belize, ain't no way I'm gonna be in this shed right now. Cause there are no spider I'm gonna be in there. It's gonna be like tarantula or a snake or something. But you know St. Patrick Chase had a snake for <laughs> Ireland. So I tell myself. Granddad had a compost bin, so I'm just gonna find somewhere to put that and then start dumping this stuff in there and get the smelly stuff from in here. And that's a good start, so. Listen, this is flat enough, yeah. So I'm just gonna leave this here. So that's the plan for this space. 